What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling where I travel around the US in a travel trailer with my wife JC and I am able to fish everywhere I go. I'm in central Iowa as we speak, driving south, headed to a little piece of property that my parents have just on the other side of the border into Missouri. As you can probably see, I've got the truck packed. They've got a travel trailer down there that sits on a pond that we're gonna be staying the night in. It's early afternoon right now, so we're gonna get an afternoon fish in this afternoon slash evening, and then we'll be staying down there, fishing the lake all day tomorrow. Between this lake and the pond that we're gonna be fishing, we pretty much got all fish species covered for central Iowa slash Missouri. Catfish, bass, bluegills, perch, walleyes. There's even supposed to be pike in this lake too. So, hopefully we get into some fish. I saw a picture this last summer out of the pond that we're headed to, 15 and a half inch crappie. If that doesn't get your blood pumping, I don't know what does. And then there's a bunch of other fish that we can catch along with that. So I'm gonna be there. I got one hour and one minute until I pull in to the property. I'm freaking stoked. My grandpa's behind me. My dad's already down there getting the camper set up. Like I said, hopefully we can get into some fish. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good time. Let's go catch something. All right guys, just pulled in. So this pond is kind of dumbbell shaped. So over here is part of the pond and then it gets real skinny right here next to the road and then it opens up on the other side of the camper over here. So I fished over on this side. I have not fished over on this side. That's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna go punch a bunch of holes. It's pretty windy out today. So we're gonna get the hub set up hopefully find either some structure or schools of fish and we're gonna start fishing all right guys we're set up we're sitting in 17 feet of water definitely the deepest part of the pond it's kind of like a little little indent so right now we have is that you down gramps or is that a fish that's fish okay that's gramps and there's a fish under him so we got we're marking I'm fish hit. oh you are getting ready to get hit all right I gotta take this coat off. The heater's not even going yet, and I'm hot. Oh. I don't know how I just didn't get. Wow. I know. I, I look little... at them all up there. Well, I thought you were gonna get whacked immediately. Look at that up there. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna go dark purple tungsten. That's what we're starting with. And I got a fish down there. That's what I'm going for him. You don't get him. I think that's me. Fish. Excuse me. Yeah, that's. I got a fish looking at me. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna come up and tease him away from you. Come on. Oh yeah, here we go. This has got a bite. Got him. Yeah, that means you got to clean all the fish tonight. First, first. Feels night. nice. Oh, crappie. Oh, look at that. Bad nice boy. crappie. Look yeah. at that bad boy. All right. <laughs> nice. Good. That's a good first fish to catch. Oh, to the that. Ice. This is a great first fish to catch. That's a keeper crappie. Nice. <laughs> all right. That. Check. Ooh. I know you just stepped Check all over it me. Check it out. First fish, first five minutes. I think you each only five bucks, right? Isn't that what we said? Twelve inches uh, or more. No, you got. Yeah, and you have to yeah, clean all the fish. Here, here. Th this one's not twelve inches. This one's probably ten. Mine will measure up to eighteen. Have, <laughs> mine's for big fish. So we got. Oh, look at that marble. Two inches to. That's all. This is ten and a half incher. Ten and a half incher to start. We're gonna be eating some fish, I think. You're fine with keeping them, right? You're cleaning them. Duh. Duh. Then Heck we're yeah. Gonna, Sweet. Then we're eating them. See how he does that when fish are coming for us? Then he has to adjust something. Oh, he left them, man. Just a little bit too <laughs> much stuff on the screen. Yeah, a little bit, maybe. Yeah. There's just a little bit too much stuff going on. See how you can see your line, Dad? Yeah. If you want to switch rods, you can use mine. Nah. Boy, I'm just it could affect right. what you're catching. It's a fish up top. Mm -hmm. You got green and silver, Gams, just so you know. Gramps, there's a nice, ooh, keep going, going on. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, he, he's going for my dad. He's going to smoke you. He's on there. Nice. Yeah. Another look crappie. At that. Another keeper crappie. Good deal. That's great to see. Yeah, that's a good fish. Sweet. Um, This is my first fish through the ice this year. Nice. Yeah. Better than my first fish through the ice. Mine was a dinker gill. What were we saying about my line? Yeah, I, that's very true. I just, that's some, 
thicker stuff, but they didn't seem to give a crap. Oh, you got them coming in from Ooh, the right. Big time. Lots of Big wind. time. Let me bypass you. Mm. Here they come. Got him. He bit really light. So that mine did too. Well, you saw mine. Another just nice away. one. Holy cow. All oh. right. That sucks. They're biting really light. He's on you. I know. Oh. Ooh. Honk! Just tapped you? No, I was raising up. There you go. There we go. Grandpa's on the board. Hey! Honk! <laughs> he knows what we were thinking. Yep. <laughs> nice shot. That was a nice shot. Good three pointer. <laughs> Here you go, Gramps. We need that little table out in front of us. We do. Here you go. I can't believe the kid doesn't have one. Hey, mine's out in my sled. Cameron, go out there. Oh, yeah. Okay. It means you're limber and ain't catching nothing. Why don't you go out? Limber and ain't catching nothing. Limber, yes. Mm -hmm. Catching nothing. I don't know. It's not in your sled, Grant. You sure? I don't see it sitting there. All right, never mind. Oh, if you guys can maneuver, Gramps, you got that table on the side of you. Well, yeah. but what? You got a table on the side oh, of you. Oh, yeah. But, it, I mean, you just got to... How's that? If you guys are fine, I, I can roll a little bit. Oh, you know what? I got a beer table now. You know, speaking of, I can't believe Grandpa hasn't offered me a beer. Uh, what are you talking about? Who brought it? <laughs> here. That's a big mark. And here he comes. Right to me. You sucker! You did! You just cut me off! Got him. <laughs> he just cut me off! He was under my hole. That's a good nice. I am stoked that we're catching crappies like this. Yeah, we might not obviously go. because they're crappies, but because crappies usually bite good at night, so we might be able to fish into the dark. We might not go home. <laughs> right. All right, guys. So it's been dead sea for like probably thirty, maybe forty minutes, and then bang, bang, just caught two crappies. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now. Eight fish on the ice. I'm thinking probably four fish each maybe an even 15 will be perfect so as soon as we get 15 fish we're gonna cook them up fish is on gramps right now too see how he swam off to the side will you set the hook <laughs> <laughs> there we go there's there it is that's about the same size as yeah my there's back. a keeper the freaking line was halfway across the pond it's like will you set the hook <laughs> Be careful with this thing. <laughs> yeah, don't throw it in the hole. <laughs> Thank you. Graham's got another keeper. It is 616. They're still coming through. It's just, we don't catch every one we see, unfortunately. But I this is. I stop, man. I don't want oh, for sure. Yeah, you stopped him in his tracks and he came up. So I don't know how many we got. This might be number 12, which is four each, which is about perfect for a little snack. So. I'm going to start cleaning them here pretty soon. I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry, too. You got one swimming right to you right now. Well, that's a nice little pile of fillets that we got. We ended up with 12 crappies, one bluegill, I'm basically just gonna start cooking them up, I think. If they catch any, what time is it? 6.59, if they catch a fish in the next six minutes, I'll add it to the pile, otherwise we're ending up with 13 fish. You guys gonna think you're gonna catch one more in six minutes? Not if the last hour's gone the way. Don't look like it. We need to get morale up. I think these fried crappies are gonna do the trick. 26 fillets, that's gonna be freaking perfect. Holy cow, yeah. fills up a whole Ziploc bag. Tossing in the one and only Frank's Red Hot. We're gonna eat them spicy. I don't have any Louisiana Cajun. I've just got the Louisiana Crispy. So we're doing the rest of the bottle to get these suckers spicy because who doesn't like spicy fish? Agreed. 
butter flavored Crisco. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but usually I get the little bars that kind of look like a stick of butter, but they were sold out. So I got the big boy can. Woo! It's ready. Um, I've got tongs. Oh, okay. Done, are they? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Look, open it up. This Mr. Heater just gets so <clears throat> hot, it cooks them freaking quick. Not so down. Woo! Oh god, Crap these is... look freaking stupid good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they do. Thanks. Well, man. we ended up cooking these at the perfect time because we haven't caught a fish in like over 30 minutes. I haven't seen a fish in 30 minutes. I swear to God, these things taste better in an ice shack mm -hmm. by about tenfold. Yep. Mine are crunchy too. Oh, mine are too. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy we caught crappies. Yeah. I thought we might come out here and catch some of those little freaking bluegills that we catch. I know. I am stoked. I mean, what, we caught five bluegills maybe? Yeah. Grandpa. Grandpa caught five bluegills. <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta be a special fisherman to feel the bite of a bluegill. <laughs> That's fair. All right. <laughs> well. Oh, these are good. I'm probably going to end this video here. It's 7.30. The bite has completely shut off. We're going to finish our fish. We're waking up tomorrow morning. We haven't got an exact plan yet, but I think we're probably going to wind up at the bigger lake that's right next to us. And the goal out there is going to be catching some walleyes. I think we can find them with the pan optics. It's going to be a little bit windy tomorrow, so I don't really know what's going to happen, but there's going to be a part two to this video. If you like fishing, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Thanks again, guys. Get out there and catch something. <laughs>